Hello everybody, so it's Felipe Braus here with Ha, the amazing Ha assisting me. And we had our intermediate West Coasting workshop for today. We had three intense, three workshops in this intensive. So we're gonna have a video notebook for you, a quick recap for you. The first workshop was on having, uh, working on those foundations, helping have great partnering skills. The first thing we looked at was the concept of inertia. So the concept of inertia. So that is once an object is moving in space, it keeps moving until there's another force acting against it. So in, if I throw a tennis ball in space, it will keep moving. There's no gravity, nothing stopping it until something else would stop it. And then it has to overpower it to throw it in another direction, for example. Uh, so we had that with our followers who were a tennis ball. And so with inertia as well, we keep moving at the same speed. So rather than me moving like this and stopping in between, it actually keeps it always moving. Like this, our inertia, we're inertia where it's backwards, forwards, to the side. Uh, and we also do the concept of flashlighting, where the follower and the leader have a flash. We imagine we have a flashlight on our chest, and then we're, we're shaping our bodies to each other. So if I show you from here, facing my back towards you, we're facing our bodies towards each other. So that's flashlighting from here as well. And then, so with this drill, we had me starting the follower going, and they keep going in that same speed until they feel me catching them at the end. So that's your role, followers, is to keep going until you reach the, the end of the rope. So we go here, start the rope going. The follower keeps going until we catch them. If the leaders start with more energy, the followers keep that energy. If I have less energy, you have less energy. For example, less energy would be like this, but they stay that same energy. But if I go for more, they, they have more energy as they come through. Fantastic. So if I was to show you as a follower as well, if you were leading me, you'd give me maybe more energy. Uh, so I'm here and then I go and I keep that same speed here. More energy and I'm always keeping that same speed until I feel, oh, there's the end there. Fantastic. That's known as posting. Next concept was the puppy dog and uh, Susan Kirkland helped a lot with this. So thank you very much. Uh, imagine I'm in London in Hamley's, a toy store. One of those dogs, with a, you know, I wind up the dog. It's inside one of those little ta uh, tables with edges. I put it down and the dog's going forwards until it reaches the edge of the table where it keeps going. I have to pick up the, the dog, put it down, and it keeps going the other way. Followers, you are a puppy dog, a nice toy. So, so now the follower keeps coming forwards with that same inertia, the same energy, and then I block them, but they still keep trying to keep coming forwards until I give them a new direction. And they keep going backwards, and they keep going backwards until, but they're still going backwards with the energy until I start a new direction. And this is what we're doing in West Coast Swing. Fantastic. So that was our puppy dog exercise. Then we added the concepts of leverage and compression or stretch or away energy and compression towards energy. So what's great about West Coast Swing is a follower knows they're gonna be moving forwards early because I'm gonna be shifting my weight towards the back of my foot, which then they react and shift the same way. We've got other videos about this already on this channel. So I won't be too, go too much about that. So, but we have a center counterpoint, you move away from the center counterpoint. If I go slowly, the follower goes slowly. If I go quickly, the follower goes quickly. We're going backwards and forwards. Nice. So what happens is the follower reaches the end of the rope, but then how do they know when to go forwards? Ah, I have to release their hips to create that stretch and then boing them forwards, as Miles and Tessa would say with that boing sound. Thank you to Miles and Tessa. And then we come here, and we come forwards, and then they might reach the end, but we still, I still haven't yet given them ex the, the energy, the extra energy to overpower them and then make them go forwards. Here's our compression towards energy. So, away energy, towards energy. I'm doing other things like moving my body, so I might be moving my body more to a downwards pitch, and then changing that pitch, but I still like to keep a bit of a pitch to here. And the same for the followers as well. As they come forwards, they might be changing their pitch slightly from the hips. They're coming backwards again. So I'm coming forwards, changing that pitch, coming backwards here. So much fun. There's so much to teach in this dance and to learn. I love it. And I think that was everything in our first workshop. Was there anything else uh, on that first one? Nice. Uh, followers, don't try to help your partner as well. So you have to stay back until you feel that new direction. So just hang back with that will increase the connection. So now our second workshop we had on shaping. First we looked at how the followers can affect the leader's next pattern, mysterious, without the leader realizing. So we talked about the followers changing rails 
on the slot. You can do that on four, five, six. Uh, so if I do an underarm turn, the follow might change on six, for example, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So now the follow has gone slightly to my, to my right side. So I have to do now right side pass, a whip, um, uh, outside turn, and so on. It, I've been affected. Ah, oh, nice. I don't have to think so much. Three and a four. So then the way to do that, uh, you can, you, I think more about move your body to how you want to get there. Otherwise, if you think too much on footwork, you might be like, oh, how do I get there? But you can do certain things like power the ball rays and so on. We did the power the ball ray, which was like this. So I'm, I'm crossing behind, moving the other foot the same direction I've gone, and then replacing where I was. So it's going to my left, to my left, to the right. Or I'm going to go to your left, your left, keep it on the spot. And that allows me, or my follower, to change rails quite nicely. That allows me to start thinking, because uh, I don't have to keep planning, what's the next move? I've been forced to do a certain amount of, a limited amount of moves. Uh, if you do it on six, then we have less time to prepare leaders. If you do it on four or five, we have more time to, ah, okay, they're changing slot. Leaders as well for us. My challenge for you, if we're dancing together, you and me, me and you viewers, then uh, if I'm square on, I might do a, a, a sugar push or a sugar tuck. But now, I used to always dance like this and then move to the side. But why don't I now, I only move, I try and start on the side now if I'm going to do a pass. Or, or if I, on this side, if I'm going to do a pass or a whip. So I'm trying to work now on always being on one of the rails. Not always, but a lot of the time. It really adds interesting shaping. For example, here, if I do an underarm turn, and a one, and a two, three, and a four, I'm going to move to one side. We also spoke about the, the width of the slot. Uh, if we're here on facing the camera, rather than going really far to the side, I was thinking as far maybe as the shoulder in lining here, not too much more. Maybe once every now and again I play here, of course. Good point there. I thought it was a good point to add mm -hmm. there. <laughs> I almost forgot. Um, so that makes it really fun. Then we talked about leaders. You can also change which way you're facing at the end as well. So it's a one and a two, three and four, check and cross. And now I'm facing this way instead of being here. I'm now here and it adds a different shape. Cool. So that should add some nice shaping and styling to your dance. Cut down and you have to think so much potentially. I think that was everything in the shaping elements of the class. And then last one, musicality. We spoke about how you can get fixated on technique, technique, technique on this side. And then you've got really serious face dancing because you're stuck in technique and the music is booming and you're like just in your head thinking so much and you have lost that creative side. On the other side, we have the creative side, but sometimes people get so creative, there's no technique. I like, or you lose the creativeness. So <laughs> we, we, if we want to have a nice balance between both, okay, I mean, being creative here, I'm loving the music, aha. Oh yeah, I feel like doing this. Oh, I'm gonna turn around and be creative, but I'm still dancing for the music. Nice. So then we spoke about music structured in, uh, most of the time in introduction, 16 counts, two bars of eight. And then the verses are um, eight bars, sorry, four bars of eight. And then you can tell when something's coming up in the music, we wanna try and express it in our dancing. So we might be in our close position at the beginning as a chance to get to know each other, relax, put each other at ease, feel wow, well, what's the music making me feel? Ooh, ah, ooh. And then we start dancing, the music is started in the first verse, for example, and we're grooving away to the music, and then slightly the music might now go really chilled. So we spoke about posting your, your if you do a sugar push, or one, two, three, I post my, my follow on four, so I might want to sweep the hand in, but keeping the center counterpoint here. So I'm under resisted, release for example here so i'm keeping it under tension slightly as i bring in and then we're now in close so the music's now changed i might want to go half time so i do that to the music but then the music starts again oh, okay and let's now go back up to open position that's just a suggestion you don't have to always go close every time the music energy goes lower we spoke about maybe you might want to go half time you can be open still when you go half to half time so i'll keep my energy away i'm not coming i'm not uh, doing a lead where the follower comes forward as normal I'm kind of keeping the follower away like this. Then the follower can feel our half-time weight transfers. And then we did something else, I think. There was something else. Ah, yes, right side pass. Where oh, we might, well, I might want to on two, one, to open up and then have a little bit of connection here toward energy. And then I might, either I might suggest something. 
I like, oh yeah, let's do something together. And as a, then we can continue as an hour afterwards and because the music is making us feel, yeah, we're working together. Well, I might see what's my follower going to do. So I might lead this, but I'm not doing this, dance. It's more like a gentle, let's see what the followers are. They don't have to do anything, but I'm going to see. Cool, okay, I'm going to try and match you as well with my hand as well. And then, but the followers are always ready that they might be led at some point. Because some followers keep going and then I'm trying to lead because I'm listening to the music and they're not responding. So the followers are always ready. The leader might ask me to go at some point, but we do something together. But I might now uh, lead them ready for the next pattern. Followers, even if, if, if you get to the end, you can still add a bit of tension away to say, I want to continue, but the leader might not respond to that. So be ready to come forwards as well. Wow. And that was our intensive today. Huge round of applause to Ha. We had good fun. She's fantastic. Nice. And um, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel, should you so wish. And I hope you get notified when videos are available. And if you enjoyed this video and got some value from it, then you're very welcome to give it a like. And in case you don't know, I offer private lessons. I can do that in person or online. I can also watch your videos together with you and coach you with those as we watch it together to help you grow in your West Coast swing. So don't forget to have a fabulous day and to enjoy your dancing and to let your style shine through. Thank you.